Hi, I'm Jeff Murr. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. I know it's been a while since I have been here, but I've uh, been busy, uh, and I hope to show up more. Today, I want to go ahead and talk about the Texas Army at Rapido. Uh, and I decided to do it today. Today's June 5th, mainly because uh, on June 6th, we tend to remember uh, the sacrifice of all the men uh, made at Normandy and uh, with the D-Day invasion. But just prior to that, there were many men from Texas that were involved uh, in the war effort. In fact, the first uh, division that made it into Europe and landed there was the 36th Infantry Division, otherwise known as the Texas Army. They were called the Texas Army because when they went into combat, uh, well, a couple reasons. One, when they went into combat, they carried the American flag and the Texas flag. And also, most of the men uh, at that point um, had come from the Texas and Oklahoma area. In fact, um, in terms of uh, their patch, uh, you know, it it's, looks literally like a T and O, and uh, they would jokingly refer to that as uh, meaning a tough hombres. And this division uh, had participated in a lot of the heavy fighting in World War I, um, and it saw a brief period of deactivation and was reactivated for World War II. Um, and this division... Um, had uh, invaded Italy uh, and had been uh, the first on the beach and they had experienced a lot of heavy fighting. Uh, in fact, there was uh, a line of German resistance near Mont Cassino and um, they were being battered by it and uh, they uh, were caught up in trying to cross the Rapido River in Italy uh, since uh, January of 1944, and it uh, became uh, quite a military uh, fiasco. The Germans were uh, chewing them up, and uh, they weren't getting very far. Um, there was a unit of men from El Paso uh, that had cleared a bunch of mines and uh, were trying to fight their way back to the lines, and they ended up... Uh, fighting the Germans to the point where they ran out of ammunition. I mean, there was uh, nothing else to fire, and uh, they received some po posthumous honors uh, for their bravery. Um, but this division um, under Mark Clark, now if you ever speak to any uh, veterans of the 36th Infantry, uh, many of them don't think highly of Mark Clark, but... Um, he led them and some uh, of the veterans of 36 uh, have some questions about his leadership and some of the decisions made that day. But um, finally, in what they call the Battle of Rapido, because uh, they were finally able to break out, uh, break across the Rapido River and make it uh, to where uh, they could liberate Rome, uh, and that was accomplished through the Anzio invasion. It was an invasion of uh, another beach in Italy, and they were trying to cut off um, the German troops uh, under Kesselring that had given them so much resistance. Um, and I wanted to go ahead, and as we approach uh, June 6th, uh, the anniversary of D-Day, that we needed to remember the men of the 36th Texas Infantry who fought uh, so desperately, I mean, there were um, many men killed uh, in the Rapido campaign and uh, the heavy fighting that they experienced in Italy, and we can't forget about them. Um, and tomorrow, when you remember D-Day, also remember uh, Earl Rudder, uh, who was a Texan and led the Rangers up uh, the cliff sites uh, at Pont du Hoc. Uh, there at Normandy and the many Texans uh, that landed on the beach that day. Uh, I had a couple of relatives uh, that had participated in that uh, invasion as well. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, remember those veterans, remember their accomplishments, uh, 
because we shouldn't forget the sacrifices that those men uh, made for us uh, and our liberties. So until next time, this is Jeff Mora wishing you via con Dios. Goodbye.